Hi guys and welcome back to another edition of Station Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to roto out a layer and replace it over the top so that way we can have our text appear as if it's behind our subject. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be text. This could be any added element to your scene. Uh, this is just the example I'm going to use so here we go. So I have this wall layer here and what I want to do is put text on this wall behind our subject here. So I'm going to drag this down, make a new composition out of it, bring this to fit, and then I'm going to duplicate our layer here and change this to background and then change our subject to Liam. Okay, and now we're going to take the rotor brush tool here at the top and just trace over our character. So if you just click and drag here with this plus sign, it will select an area. And sometimes it may select a little bit more than what you had hoped for. So if you just hold Alt or Option, it'll turn to a minus sign, and then you can drag that, and it'll subtract from the area. And let's drag this all the way out here, this slider, so this will analyze the entire clip. Now just hit Spacebar, and it will start to analyze or roto for you uh, the area it thinks you selected. And if it goes off, then just adjust your roto by selecting or deselecting the areas that you wanted to highlight. So you can also go frame forward, frame backwards, and kind of fix your roto. And you know this seems like a lot of work, but it's a hell of a lot easier than masking frame by frame, which used to be the uh, old method of doing this. So this thing's quite handy. This an effect like this would have taken way longer a few years ago. Now that they came out with this roto brush tool for CS5, this thing is great, and you can do quick effects like this that I would have never probably spent the time to do before or would have just shot it a different way maybe threw up a green screen behind him or something like that but um yeah you can make last second adjustments and changes to your shots doing stuff like that or add additional effects that you may have not been able to add previously all right so once you got your area of selection here i'm going to do a few more refinements to my uh roto mask here it seems to be holding pretty well here and it helps because i have a i have a consistent background here if this was a lot of different colors or different textures this uh, roto probably wouldn't hold as well throughout my clip. An easy way to increase or decrease the size of the roto brush tool is to hold down command and drag the mouse to make it larger or smaller. This will help you refine your selection areas and be able to get into smaller areas than if the uh, roto brush was a larger size. Now our clip seems to be holding pretty well. If you see any areas you can always go back and fix those areas. For the purposes of the tutorial, let's move on. So now up in your roto settings here you have a smooth, a feather, a choke, all these things that you can do here. So let's deselect our background layer so we can see exactly what's happening to our top layer. So maybe we can feather this out a little bit, you know, choke our mat or expand it depending on how your selection was made. And I like to put a nice edge blur on here that just seems to kind of soften the edges of the entire roto. And I just put a small two pixel edge blur on the whole thing. That is available through uh, KeyCorrect Pro. So now I'm going to add some text. This uh, music video is called Yay for Vagina, uh, believe it or not. And let's make this more of a uh, graffiti look here. And there's this tag stream. Okay, let's uh, separate this out a little bit more. And let's make it like a reddish color. Okay. And then we'll make this a 3D layer so it's easier to move around here. Don't necessarily have to do that and um, select our text again and shrink this up here a little bit so it's closer. I'm gonna just rotate this thing slightly so it's not perfectly straight. Um, so it looks like kind of like sloppy graffiti. Move it over and maybe size it up a little bit more so it kind of trails behind him so we can get the effect we're trying to go for here and maybe move it over even a little bit more. All right, now let's turn our layer of Liam back on and let's grab our text and put that in the middle. Now you can see a little bit here what we're trying to go for. His arm's now going over the top of it. So let's change our text layer to a classic color burn just so it looks like it's kind of burnt into the wall more. Then I'm going to duplicate it by hitting Command D and then selecting the layer underneath it and we're going to add a fast blur to it. And we're going to blur this out so we get more of a spray paint effect on this layer. And maybe bring the opacity down a little bit on the top layer so it doesn't look too crisp, clean, and perfect because spray paint would be a little bit more probably random. Another thing you can do is you can also duplicate the blur layer again, maybe even expand the blur even further. And just messing with these two blur settings, you can get some good looking results, uh, try to get this spray paint effect. 
you can mess with the different opacities of these three layers as well. Now you can see here I got a little area that you know may be a little bit of a defect. I can always go back into that roto layer and fix that to clean that up a bit. But um, we're going to move on here. Keep going for the uh, tutorial's sake. I'm going to change this top layer to main text and you can just do that by hitting enter and typing in whatever you wish and I'm gonna grab both of these blurred layers and parent them to our main text now you see if we go to move that main text layer all three of those layers will move in unison with each other so now I'm just gonna add a new adjustment layer maybe come over to here to these uh, presets and throw on this 90s look because this is supposed to be an early 90s music video and maybe bring this uh, intensity or the opacity of this layer down to about 50% here just so it's not so crushed uh, about 66 is good okay and then let's add another adjustment layer and I'm just gonna throw a curves layer on here maybe brighten this up a little bit um, kinda give it a little bit of contrast so it looks like it's really burned in on that wall. We'll add a new black solid and just make a new vignette here by double clicking on the ellipse tool and invert it and feather it and then just change the opacity here bring it down so it's not so intense. Next I'm gonna add a new null object and what this is going to do is I'm going to come over to our presets here. There's a package here from Video Copilot right here. There's a lot of different things in here, but um, right now we're going to be using the Aftershake. And what that's going to do is it's going to add this handheld effect to our footage. So we're going to apply that to our null, and then we're going to bring down the amount to about 12, bring down the rotation, and then change the speed down to about 3. What we're going to do is we're going to select all of our layers that we want to move with this handheld effect, and we're going to pick whip that to the null. And then lastly, we will go to Stylize Motion Tile. We're going to add a motion tile to our background, mirror the edges, and bring the height and width about to 125. And now you'll see that'll get rid of that side edge because when you add a uh, handheld effect, the frame is going to wiggle a bit and you may lose your edges. So this will prevent that from happening. So now you can see we have this nice handheld effect real quick. Looks like it's spray painted on the wall. Check out this music video. There's another interesting thing that we did with this. I actually put this out to VHS and then ingested it back in before it was uploaded to achieve that uh, authentic early 90s VHS look. And uh, you know, you could probably try and attempt to do that with plugins and whatnot and maybe some you know bad TV and add some grain or whatnot but there's there's really no better look than real so uh, that's what we did and check it out all right guys I'll catch you next time thank you for joining me and thank you for watching station tutorials